Hello and welcome to working with raster data using RRJS Bridge tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to bring your raster data sets from a file geo database into R using RRJS Bridge, then analyze them and write the output back to ArcGIS. It is assumed that you have already installed ArcGIS binding package in ArcGIS Pro. If you haven't, please watch Integrating R with ArcGIS tutorial on SB Canada YouTube channel. To consume raster data sets in R using RRGIS Bridge, you need to go through three steps. The first step is to connect to data source. Use r.open function to specify the location of raster data. Then use r.raster function to load a raster data set customize it and convert it from an ArcGIS data type to an R object. You can load a subset of the original data by indicating number of rows or columns, or load a subset by defining a list of bands to read, change the spatial resolution by cell size underscore x and cell size underscore y, replace no data with a numeric value, or resample data before bringing it into R. Also, the R.raster function will convert your data to an R object with a class of R.raster. The last step is to use as.raster function to convert the R.raster object to an object from one of the raster package classes. The reason is to have access to many functionalities that the raster package provides for manipulating and analyzing raster data. There are three classes to represent special rasters in the raster package. These are raster layer, raster stack, and raster brick. The first class is used to represent single band raster, while the last two classes are used to represent multi band. Raster stack and raster brick objects differ in how they are stored in your current R session. A raster brick stores the entire data into memory, while a raster stack doesn't. This usually makes the raster brick more efficient to work with, especially if you are working with a large raster dataset. If the input of the as.raster function is a single band raster, it will be converted to raster layer object. And if it is a multi-band raster, it will be converted to raster brick. All special attributes for the data will also be transferred from ArcGIS to R. Now let's see how to implement these three steps in practice. RStudio is used in this demonstration to develop the code. RStudio is one of the most often used development environments for R scripting. Also, a digital elevation model for some part of Ontario is used as a sample data. First, load the required packages into the current R session. If needed, install the packages first. When you load ArcGIS binding package, it prompts you to call art.checkproduct. This function creates a connection to ArcGIS and check the license level. Next, set the working directory to be able to read and write files using the relative paths instead of full paths. This is a directory under which all of the files related to your project are located. Now let's bring the ArcGIS raster data into R. First, we connect to the data using art.open function. Then load the data and convert them into an R object of class art.raster. Finally, use as.raster to convert the art.raster object to an object from one of the raster package classes. You can do all three steps in one line. Since the input layer is a single band raster, it will be converted into raster layer object. You can confirm that by checking the type of the raster object. Now your data has been bridged from ArcGIS to R and are ready to be consumed as an R object. 
You can analyze your data using any packages and their associated functions in R. Let's first explore some input raster properties. Use nRow and nCal functions to find the number of rows and columns in the raster object. N layers returns number of layers or bands. Names returns band names. Dim returns the length of all dimensions at once. Use n cell to get the total number of cells. Res returns cell resolution. Extend returns the extent of a raster. And proj for string returns coordinate system info. Okay, let's see how to visualize a raster layer in R. You can visualize raster layers in R using different packages. The easiest way is to use plot function from R base package. The second way is to use level plot from raster viz package. This function offers more capabilities in plotting raster data. For instance, you can add contour lines on top of your raster. You can use the default themes or build your own custom theme. The next way is to use tmap package. You can create a raster histogram using HIST function. One of the most interesting capabilities in the raster package is a function that lets you to cut out a portion of a raster dataset interactively. The extent of the area used to clip the raster can be a rectangle or a polygon. Here I want to clip the raster with a rectangle and save the result as a new raster called dem.clip. Once you run the function, you need to define two points of the rectangle. You can see your selection area here in the plots pane. And then visualize it using tmap package. Here, I want to create the slope, aspect, and hill shade rasters for the selected area. Use train function to create a slope and aspect layers. To create the hill shade raster, you first need to have the slope and aspect layers already created and then define the elevation angle and direction of the sun. Here is the output raster. Finally, I want to write the hill shade raster back to ArcGIS and open it in ArcGIS Pro. You can write our raster objects into ArcGIS using art.write function. After saving the output as a GeoTIFF, I will open it in ArcGIS Pro. This concludes working with raster data using RRGIS Bridge tutorial. For more videos and tutorials, check out Esri Canada Higher Education Resource Finder or subscribe to Esri Canada Centers of Excellence YouTube channel.